sudden you just spot something in amongst the motorhomes, it stands out a little bit. With a Mercedes badge on the front, I think I'm going to have to have a look. I was out drinking, looking for the next Supersonic 780SL. End of this thing, it's got a proper slopey kind of back on it. Yeah, nice. But, um, a massive garage, beautiful garage. Look at look how it uh, goes around the corner, that. The heating pipes of the Audi system coming right around into the garage, going along there. Decked out really nice. A little bit busy at the show today, but anyway, I'm just waiting my turn, and uh, we're just gonna have a quick peep around this 780 SL on the Mercedes Benz coming in it's uh, 160 and just looking at the overall length so we're getting close to eight meters seven eight three zero so a little bit longer than uh, I kind of uh, normally um, look at really well we look at all sorts don't we Stepped in. and uh, what are we greeted with oh my goodness me Mercedes dashboard as always <laughs> vision out of this windscreen is pretty incredible the seats oh my god uh, right I'm gonna uh, do my joffy bit and uh, just um, check this out so this is the ultimate lounge look at this lounge it's so laid-back luxurious I can see the heating vents coming down under there the carpet is all the way through leading up to the back and this is just the bed layout that we actually love um, but we haven't got there yet right I'm gonna uh, try and be as quick as I can there's a lot of people trying to look at this motorhome but um, the blinds in here it feels absolutely incredible the uh, work surfaces um, absolutely stunning uh, all the drawers down the front here um, let's just um, Right, okay, I've got to be pronto quick. So, this has got the separate shower with a nice big uh, rain ring shower up there. Beautiful skylight. Okay, I'm just going to keep it ripping. And uh, the bit, oh my god, I like the windows. The windows look superly nice. And uh, that kind of almost like a fabric around that window looks pretty good <laughs> there's Matt out there I can see my mate Matt uh, thanks Matt and um, yeah look at this interior this looks super sleek up the back end here and uh, the, the finish on these mattresses I know you're gonna cover them over but they they look actually too good to cover over but um, absolutely beautiful there's all the uh, the steps leading up there's drawers in here we're not gonna get too carried away again I'm just gonna pull this toilet around like that so we can have a look at the toilet area and uh, it looks fantastic I'm impressed Stavinia <laughs> is uh, doing us proud at the NEC absolutely looking down through this motorhome um, you can see all the uh, the electrics on this side you've got the uh, the fridge and the freezer and the oven uh, all the way up through there this has got air conditioning on the top a venter trumer on the roof drop down bed at the front we've saw that uh, been I love them little um, spotlights up on the top there as well sort of like uh, and the lighting on the bottom of that bed looks incredibly awesome and uh, there we go I think that is it I think um, I'm just I love that little footstool as well and the the A-class obviously it's so wide it's super wide at the front leading all the way up the side here uh, the big windows vision and uh, yep I think uh, the guys from Stavinia are uh, absolutely pushing it to the next level with this motorhome. The luxuriousness of this uh, upholstery and fabric. Next level. Coffee machine up on the side there. Pods. <laughs> and uh, also a nice set of wheels on it. Look at these super wheels. Whoa. And a little bit of this uh, Rudog brand electric bike. And I'm loving this little key. Look at the little key ring. And I'm loving the color. I just said to the guy he's selling these, this should be on Venice Beach, California, with a metallic blue paint job like this. Is it? Oh, it's mint, blue, mint green. Oh, this is the mint green then, I reckon. So this is definitely the got to be the mint green. But um, it definitely looks a beautiful, stunning color. Rudog e bikes. Um, Americana. Americana. Factor two is the Rogue. Look at this one. Oh yeah, look at the uh, LED headlight. Chunky tires. 
Look at the chunkiness of these tires. From 1950. Oh my god, I think that's when it was uh, actually um, thought about. It's probably 1950. That's styly, almost like a flat tracker style. <laughs> oh wow. All the gears on there, look at that. Oh, and the old seat. I'm getting a bit sweat, so now I've been uh, drawn in by the polka dot, and uh, I remember um, the swing, the swing um, push bike, sort of like that uh, Californian styley. And uh, look at the colour schemes on these bikes now; they're just looking so cool. Rudog is coming up good here with these bikes. Colour of these tyres and the guards. I, I love the, uh, the the detail on this. Uh, on these fenders as well, it's um, absolutely, oh my goodness me, look at the grips on this. Look at the grips on this, all this kind of like beautiful metallic styling. It's absolutely another level. So this is actually the metallic blue color as well. And uh, how funky are these bikes? There's obviously the battery pack underneath that lovely painted rack as well. But um, it just looks so nice. Metallic blue. Check it out. Oh, uh, so, so, so is on. So is on. Oh, it's um, what, what we got here then? Um, golden curl. The golden curl. details now it was uh, yeah just showing us the last finishing touches of these things look at that oh and we're oh yeah look oh pretty cool Just to um, sniff all these these different scents and see if we get reminded of any holidays oh so France maybe yeah I'm, well I'm, I'm just uh, what am I getting I've not, I've not so got one yet. Like Hang on, let me just go. I'm gonna go up the other end. So set, so so we're just um, so I've done scent one and scent six. Yeah, it's grass. It's grass. It's nice. it's weird, I think I've, it? I think I've drunk this stuff. I think I've drunk oh, that God. stuff. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> like moldy grass, isn't it? Oh, the, the fresh brewed coffee. Yeah, because it, it smells of that. That's like, like moldy grass. <laughs> <Bloody hell. laughs> like grass. Down the stairs at the NEC, and this place is uh, filled. Oh my goodness, Morello land, oh yes, a taste of Germany. of the Morellos on the outside and uh, I, I like the innovation of this one a nice little winching system for your motorbike it's quite handy look at that that's quite nifty yeah. all motorized up in the back of your Morello oh I think they've uh, yeah. Carolyn just saying they're uh, just signing for one so that's that's all good news, isn't it, for the uh, the traders here, at the NEC, at a mere three hundred and fifty thousand. Wow! It says here that I will fit somewhere in your motor room. We're just trying to figure out where we're going to actually put it, but um, and they're getting quite realistic with the uh, the prices now. That three hundred and sixty for this massive eleven foot eight inch monster paddleboard kind of. And that includes your pump, 
the panel, your bag and your leash. Does this one include the uh, same? Oh, the, the sort of like tiger, sort of like, yeah. is it tigery, yeah. printy sort of thing? Um, I don't know. None. 340, so there's not a lot of difference in between them. Or 350, so they got one for 340, 350, and 360 in the red. I like, do you, what, what would you have if you were having one? Boxes ready to take you away, look. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're all here. So what actually happens? At, what actually happens at the show is you walk along, and then all of a sudden you find something that really catches your eye, like one of these incredible tablecloths. Look at this, just up my street, covered in motorhomes, and it's let's have one of them. Yeah. There's a happy. Happy caravan. Happy caravaner. Look at that. That looks fabulous. So well, and we haven't even looked at anything else yet. No, you haven't. But um, we're going to. Um, we're just going to. Let me just have a little look. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's just have a little look around. Because I love all this colour, um, tea cosies. Oh, look at this, lad. It's nice. There's just certain things that catch your eye. Look at this down here, lad. Certain colours. Phone. Phone bean bags. Yes! A phone bean bag. Look at the colours on this. They look amazing. Oh, and look at the. Oh, look at these. These are nice. Yeah, you'll do. Look at this, lovely. Look at this. Put your magazines in. Perfect. I just spotted this incredible, they've ejected this kitchen out of the back of this four wheel drive Jeep kind of thing with a roof tent on. And I'm like, look at this frying pan. And you know, I'm like with my eggs in the, in the great outdoors and they've got the washing up bowl on the end. There's me going on about room with a view. Look, when, if I park this somewhere, where am I gonna park this and do my washing up there? How good is this? Or stainless steel, they, what have they got in here? Cut little drawers in there, look, all tucks away in the back. Oh, they've got a, fr got a fridge in there on another slider, look. Absolutely insane. Yeah, look at that lovely roof tent up there with a ladder. <laughs> look at this. I don't even know what it is. A Utah. Utah. What? Oh, it's a, is it like a dot? A Wolf Race Wheels. And, oh, it's an Isuzu Utah. Right, fair enough. And look at the lighting bar on top of this lot. We've got LED, got all the cargo up on the roof box. Got a snor snorkel in there, go for some deep water. Sorry, mate. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, look at that. What an outfit. Oh, and a, and a little sort of uh, awning on this side. Look. Looks cool, doesn't it? Looks super cool. Okay, I'm going to, um, I'll tell you what, just grab hold of my, uh, just going to offload some of my gear. I'm going to uh, take a little venture up into the roof tent on this. Look at this. So we can get some proper panoramic views. Oh, at the NEC. Oh, look at this lot. Wow. Right, I'm getting the vibe. Look at this, right out across the NEC, in a roof tent. Look at that. Look, I'll tell you what, I've got the fit. Look at the, I'll tell you what, this, you know I'm on about vision. So you can look out there, you can look out the side, both sides, it's just the, the fact they've got the blind up on the inner side. But um, got a lovely uh, blind up there, uh, looking out the end. Right, I better uh, eject quickly. Look at the good people at the Caravan and Motorham Club stand here at the NEC and we were just telling them about the experience at Crystal Palace last weekend and how good it was. So maybe we need to go to Canada, USA and Australia, New Zealand, South Africa. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Not at us too. So we, not at us too yet. So we have ended up back in the Lusso 2, is that there? And uh, 
So we know someone who's actually um, just uh, got one of these and we've been looking for him and we can't find him. But um, yeah, so we're just um, crashed out in the, uh, it's a caravan, it's a huge caravan. And uh, yeah, we are impressed, Michael. Michael, I thought oh, you would uh, yeah, we, we thought you might pop round for coffee, mate. But, but it's um, empty. But so there's no coffee left, and we just checked the fridge, and uh, there's no beer in the fridge either. But um, we are just thinking of you, mate, with your uh, latest addition to the fleet, and um, just remembering of uh, our visit to Malvern, where we were so impressed with his flat on wheels, because that's what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do, yeah, I think we had a good look around it at uh, Malvern, didn't we? But uh, Carolyn's just chilling out in the lounge, but uh, God, look at this shower, mate. You've got so much to look forward to. I just cannot believe it. But um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And there's so many people, Michael, trying to get inside it. And uh, we've been evicted. We've had to get out because there's so many people want to look inside this thing. On the Dometic stand here at the NEC, don't worry, I'm not filming you. <laughs> you carry on. She's just, she's just literally taken our order um, for something of Dometic. And, uh, but we're not going to tell you what it is yet. So we're going to wait. So it's going to be sent to our. So it's going to be sent to our address. Okay, from Birmingham to Devon, and then when it sort of like rocks up, then I'm going to let you guys know what it is. And we're excited. How excited am I about this? Really excited. And it's a deal. It's a show deal. On the day when you get a deal like this deal that we've had today. Future's looking bright. It's the oh, It doesn't stop there. Oh, Good as that. Very much. <laughs> All right. Best of luck to you guys. Thank you very much. I just see. So we survived. We're back outside. I was out drinking, looking for the next thing I couldn't. 